Greetings and welcome to the basement. This is the setup video for the Unity UI with Idle Games tutorial sequence. The purpose of this video is to go over my setup so that way you know exactly what you need to have configured and ready to start the tutorial proper. To start off with, you will need one asset pack or if you don't want to use the asset pack that I have, you will need to get some images. Um, but I will be using the free game items asset pack shown here. Uh, specifically, I'm going to be using the book, scroll, uh, quill, and potion icons out of here. By no means is this required, but you will need some sprites to use for the tutorial if you plan on doing something slightly different. You are also going to need Playmaker installed if you want to follow along with that section. I will be doing two versions of this. The first video will go over the UI and the layout. The second video will go over Logic using Playmaker. And the third video will go over Logic using C Sharp. So obviously if you want to follow along with the Playmaker portion, you will need Playmaker installed and configured. As far as my Playmaker windows are concerned, uh, I will have the editor docked to the main area here, and I will have my actions list docked along with my inspector. It is worth noting that typically when I am working with Playmaker, I actually have this window off on my second monitor, which obviously does not work very well when you're trying to do tutorial videos. So instead, I will have it docked in the center area here. For the version of Unity, I am using 2019.3. I am not doing anything particularly uh, radical in this video sequence, so if you are not on that exact version number, it should still be okay. Uh, keep in mind that if you're using 2019.1 or .2, your UI is going to look slightly different. Do not freak out about this. The core functionality has not changed, they just gave the uh, core editor UI a bit of a facelift. As far as my project settings go, I initially created this using a 3D project, not because I have any intentions of using 3D stuff in here, but because that is the default and a lot of people I have found just sort of by you know default when they create a project, create a 3D project. But uh, I don't want this. The main thing is I absolutely despise projects that uh, have this default skybox in it uh, with, that looks like this for a UI set. I was like, no, no, that's not good. Uh, not to mention importing in, if I'm going to import in any additional images, I would want to have this in 2D mode. So I am going to bring up my project settings, which I generally find to have a good window to have docked over here anyways. Again, that is editor project settings, and I'm going to go into the editor category, and I'm going to change my default behavior mode from 3D to 2D. Another thing that I am going to do, or actually have already done, is go into preferences, and select colors, and I generally like to have my play mode tint be a very bright, obnoxious color, so that way I never make the mistake of not realizing that I am in play mode when I start trying to edit things in my scene. This, of course, is a purely optional uh, t uh, point here, but I would recommend uh, making the play mode tint something a bit more eye-catching than the default. Finally, I am going to create a new scene and I'm going to lock it into the 2D view here. And I'm going to verify that my new scene and my main camera, that uh, my clear flags are set correctly, that my background is set. And actually my clear flags, I'm gonna set that to solid color, thank you very much. Uh, background is this nice default blue, that's fine for the moment. And my projection is orthographic. I'm not going to mess around with the size in this particular project, so a default size of, fine, of 5 is fine. Finally, I am going to save this scene out. And call it Idle Layout. 
And now, at this point, I am completely set up and ready to begin uh, with the actual tutorial. And so, I will see you in the next video.